Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm RJ and we are back in Conan Exiles. We've got some great changes coming in the next chapter of the Age of War. And one of these great changes being that we will now be able to raid a Stygian fortress with a planned release date of December 14th. And as always, you can always download the public beta client and try these out before it goes live. Here's the new Stygian fortress and it's located on the lines of G and H number 7 on the map. Now there are a few different ways you can raid this fortress, one being the most fun is using a trebuchet, but it's kind of expensive and not very accurate. I mean, it does take a bit of resources to make your trebuchet and the explosives that you need. Also, the accuracy of the trebuchet, yeah, it leaves a little to be desired at times, but it will get the job done. Another way to raid this fortress is, well, you'll need to destroy your religious altar and the T4 thrall in it, but you can always make the true name of whichever god that you want and raid it that way. I mean, who doesn't want to be a hundred foot tall god and squash your enemies like little ants in your backyard? But all in all, not the ideal way to raid the Stygian fortress because you're going to lose your religious altar, you're going to lose your T4 crafter that was in it, not to mention all the time that you put into harvesting everything, make your manifestation of zeal in order to craft your true name of whichever god you're using. One thing to be careful of using the gods is if you attack the center of the base, you could destroy the loot room that you're after. Chances are if you destroy the loot room floor, you're going to lose all the loot that's in there. If you have a decent amount of stamina and a good thrall to follow you, you can always run to the east side entrance where you'll find one of these carts. You'll find this cart at the southeast entrance of the fortress. And in this particular cart, you're going to find a battering ram. You can also find another battering ram just inside of this doorway here. Once you get your battering ram out, you can just start beating on the doors or the walls. Doors are the easiest ones to break. Walls take a little longer, but, it, but you can break through a wall with the battering ram. The first gate starts out. 30,000 HP, but it doesn't take too long to break through it with your battering ram. Battering ram does a little bit over 4,000 damage with each hit. Now the real problem here lies in the fact that these Stygian Raiders respawn at a rate of about 10 seconds. Every time you get rid of one of them, it will respawn within about 10 seconds time. And believe you me, this keeps you and your thrall pretty busy. After you get rid of the first group and start to beat on the walls or the doors again, they're already spawning back and fighting. We finally made our way through the second door, and as you can see, my thrall is about half health. The fighter thrall I have with me is a Delencia Snow Hunter, who topped out at about 4,120 health between her perks, armor, and food. In other words, it's going to be pretty easy to lose a fully leveled out thrall doing these raids. Another way to raid this fortress, which is my favorite and by far probably the easiest, is to just run over to one of the doors and you'll find a path that you can climb up walls without touching any of the fences. You do have to be careful of the archers that are up here because, well, they can get to you pretty easy. Once you get past them though, you can always run up on these rocks, find a spot where they can't climb up to get to you, and heal up. Now we'll just climb up the second wall, avoiding any of the fences that are placed around here. And we should be able to make it up to the top without any problem. The trick is just to try to plan out your climbing in a way that you can avoid any of the fences that are placed along the edges. Just like climbing any wall, if you do touch a fence, it'll cause a little bit of damage and it'll knock you off the wall. Now all we need to do is cross this next courtyard and start climbing our wall there. The area we're looking for is just to the right of that upper torch. So yeah, let's get the running and hopefully none of the Stygian Raiders see us through here. Once you've made it to this point, you're pretty much safe from any of the Stygian Raiders. There are a couple of archers and fighters above that you may run into, and watch out for the fences that are hidden in the walls. But you're pretty much going to have an easy time from this point on.
For the most part, any archers and fighters you come across are going to be locked in the rooms up through here. Your next battle is only going to be with the boss and his two minions. We do have a fighter locked away in this room, so we're not going to break in through that door. Here's the area that I like to climb up to. It seems to be the easiest way to get to and get rid of the boss. You'll know you're in the right area when you see the green banner clipping through the wall from the inside. And here the wall is about 70,000 health and at a little over 4,000 damage with each hit from the battering ram. It won't take too long to get into here. You could also use explosives, but I find that that usually destroys the ceiling tile that you want to stand on here to make this boss fight easier. Right there is the commander boss that we need to, you know, unalive now. Probably one of the easier ways you're going to get rid of this guy is to just pepper him with your snake arrows or any other kind of explosive arrows, poisonous arrows, whatever you have. Just something you can stand up here and get rid of them from a safe distance with. You could just jump right in here and take him on with whatever weapon of your choice you have. But if he hits you and his adds get you with their demon fire orbs, you're going to be hurting real quick. This guy does hit pretty hard. The gaseous orbs work okay. It'll take a little bit longer, but you can also get rid of them with that. Just about anything that you can throw down or shoot down to get rid of this guy is going to work good. And if you're using the gas orbs, don't forget your gas mask. And after turning the boss into a pit and cushion, you're going to hear that buzzer noise. That means you've defeated him, and all of the other Stygian raiders in the area are going to disappear. Now you're free to loot the boss and pick up all of these beautiful gold coin piles laying around on the floor. Also, make sure you check all of the tables and workbenches inside of this area, as there are sometimes scrolls in there. They're pretty much the same scrolls you'll find in the unnamed city at the Archivist area. And now you can exit this fortress by either climbing out the way you climbed in, or you can use your battering ram, knock down all the doors, and explore the whole area without worrying about the Stygian raiders attacking you, because... Well, they've all disappeared. Time I've completed this fortress, I've gotten about 12,280 gold coins out of it. So it's a pretty good haul. So yeah, that's about the easiest, safest way to raid this fortress. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more Conan Exiles content coming in the future. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.